students today we will learn about file management students you are well versed with the fact that in a computer the information is stored in a file and all the related files are clubbed inside a folder a folder is like a file cabinet and arranging files in it makes it easy to locate the files a folder can hold other folders as well a folder within a folder is called a subfolder. You can differentiate a file from a folder with the help of icons associated with them. Let us learn about the operations related to file management in this chapter. Let us first understand how to create a file. The most common method to create a file is by using any application software. Let us use Microsoft Word to create a file. Open Microsoft Word. A blank page is displayed on the screen. Start typing text on the blank page. After completing your work, save your file by clicking on the File tab, then Save option and typing a suitable name in the File Name box present in the Save As dialog box. This creates a new file. Let us take a quick view. The shortcut to create a new file is Ctrl plus M. Let us find out how to create a folder. Right click on the blank area of the desktop. A shortcut menu appears. Place the pointer on the new option. A list of sub options appears. Click on the folder option. A new folder icon will be displayed on the desktop. Type a name for the folder at the cursor position and press the enter key. A new folder is created. Ok students, now let us understand how to copy a file or folder. Copying a file or folder means to create a duplicate copy of the selected file or folder. To copy a file from one location to another, follow these steps. Double click on the computer icon on the desktop. It will display the hard disk drives, CD or DVD drives, removable devices and network locations that are connected to your computer. Double click on the D drive icon. It will display all the files and folders stored in it. Select any file or folder you want to copy. Click on the Organize button and select the Copy option from the drop-down menu. Choose the location where you want to place the copied file. Then click on the Paste option in the Organize drop-down menu. Notice that the file gets copied to the new location. Students, let's know more. To select a consecutive group of files, click on the first file. Hold down the shift key and click the last file. To select the non-consecutive files and folders, press and hold down the control key and click on the files to be copied. Students, let us find out how to rename a file or folder. To rename a file or folder, right click on it and select the rename option from the shortcut menu. Type the new name and press the enter key. Let us take a quick view. The shortcut key to rename a file or folder is F2. Tell you how to move a file or folder. Moving a file or folder means shifting it from its original location, source, to another location, destination. To move a file or folder, follow these steps. Select any file or folder you want to move. Click on the Organize button and select the Cut option from the drop-down menu. Select the location and the folder where you want to move the file or folder. Now click on the Paste option in the Organize drop-down list. You will observe that the selected file or folder is shifted from the source location to the defined destination. 
Students let us understand how to delete a file or folder. You can delete the unwanted files or folders from your computer system. To delete a file or folder, follow the given steps. Select the file or folder you want to delete. Click on the Organize button and select the Delete option from the drop-down menu. A message box appears to confirm the deletion. Select Yes to confirm. You will find that the selected file or folder has been deleted. Let us take a quick view. Press Shift plus Delete to delete files or folders permanently.